70s here, don't worry. Um, Lady, my dog, we think she has a bee sting or something. And don't worry, she's not allergic to it or anything. But um, this has happened actually to my, this happened a long time ago to my English bulldog, Levi. And we know the signs and everything. So we gave her some Benadryl and a little bit of liquid CVD and she's resting in the other room. So periodically you might see me get up at one point or 70 get up at one point just to check on her, just to see if she's okay. Because we're crazy dog moms and everything is um, a, a panic if something happens to our dog, but she's perfectly fine. Don't worry. She's, she's in like bliss right now. Cause you know, again, being on Benadryl and CBD, I'm sure she, she's very happy. Hi, Ian. How are you? My cat's name is Karen. Um, my cat's name is honesty and truth. I was reading a little bit of what you guys were going. I cannot imagine how you feel over there. I'm angry. My brain is melting. I think we all know what we're all angry about. And honesty and truth had a good point. She goes, we need to get Omid back in the UK because he needs to pay for his crimes. He's never coming back to the UK, guys. He's done with, he's done. There's absolutely no way. This guy is burning all his freaking bridges. I just checked his Instagram stories, okay? And this popped up. Let me take this uh, banner off, sorry. This popped up. Of course, the Times... Uh, the Sunday Times Magazine did an article and I clicked on the article. It has a paywall. So eventually it will be up by by something else. But um, this came up immediately. Look at that. Oh, man, he is. God, I, guys, I know we're not supposed to say mean things on this channel. And I and I'm I'm going to try to refrain today. But oh, my God. So um, this is a little bit of it. And he put this up. An interesting time for the Omid Scobie speaks out. Harry, Meghan, and the royals in crisis. They're not in crisis. It is a renaissance going on right now. I don't know what he's smoking. It's an interesting time for the family. Harry's phone hacking case against the mail. Oh, sorry. I was just reading something for them. Stephanie. Sorry. Hey, come on. All right. I was reading it once. Okay. How's, how's Lady? Lady's good. Okay. Lady's All right. Good. Did Nancy explain why I was gone? Nancy? Yes. Checking on Lady. Yes. Okay. Let me just Lady's read this okay. real fast and then we'll do comments because I was right in the middle of hey, this. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's an interesting time for the family. Harry's phone hacking case against the Daily Mail has been allowed to go to trial. That's one for us. Remember, guys, we're happy about this because we know for a fact that Harry has absolutely no evidence against the mail. So he's going to have to go back on the stand and make a fool out of himself like he did last time. The final series of The Crown is here. Yeah. And we all saw how that tanked. It's that completely was, tanked. People are really not people responding been, to this in a in a in a including great way. A, Hi, Ian. including a ghostly turn from Diana. He's listing this stuff as a crisis, and the king has turned seventy five. Good for the king. In Scobie's view, unless the royals rapidly change tack, the whole institution will shortly come skidding off its gilded wheels. We are at the pivotal moment in time where the future of the royal family, as we know it, is in crisis, he says. That crisis being a lack of interest from young people. Oh, my, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, I'm sorry. He, he's age shaming. He's age shaming. And apathy, a growing Republican movement. Yeah, right. Re they're really growing. Questions over the family still uphold the morals and values of the crown that the queen did such a great job of. But when you look at the cast of characters, it has been questionable. This scrub just put this article up on his Instagram stories. This person is proud of what he just said. The crown has tanked on Netflix. That's a fact. Everything we're going to say right now is factual. That's a fact. Okay. It's factual. Then. Young people. I don't know. Last time I checked, I wasn't an old person. So he's but age shaming. Everybody. He's age shaming. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a liberal, 
a conservative, a Democrat, a Republican, um, an independent, a Bernie supporter, whatever you want to be. Nobody likes Harry and Meghan and everybody is is there. The people that that are like the independents and the Bernie supporters, they don't want to abolish the monarchy. They're just indifferent. They just don't care. They don't care. Yeah, they don't. But care. as far as respect goes, look at what happened in New York when William came. Look at what happened. Do what? you guys remember that? Did you guys remember Earthshot in Singapore? What the heck? Yeah. So let's start. Let's say hi to a few people here. That oh, guys, anybody, everyone's saying about. Oh the my God! If Harry and Meghan returned, it would certainly bring the monarchy to its needs against the will of the people. So, so people that watch The Crown um, out there, let, I'm going to ask you a question. No, some people did watch it. The people that watch The Crown, I have a question. Did Diana really come back as a ghost? Yes. And, we talked and about I, I didn't, I've something never saw I showed it. You and the another pictures. question. I, the and I, on the show. I, I know, but I I'd like to know. I'd like to know show. from them. But um, and then the second question is, what did they make it like she was pregnant with Dodie's child? He's getting me angry now by assuming we are all stupid. That's how I feel, Samantha. This man is literally trying to make us look stupid and it's not going to work. Guess what? The most trendy Hollywood shop in all of Los Angeles made fun of Harry and Meghan. Okay. Yeah, that's like prime real estate, Kitson. I will never forgive them for what they did to the Queen and Prince Philip. That's why we started this channel. We're not jumping on the bandwagon. Now, I'll agree. There's a lot of people that that have come on to YouTube now, and they're jumping on this bandwagon because it does get clicks oh, and likes. Oh, she forgave Charles. That's why she did. Dad, we talked about she it. I'm just we saying, had we did a whole. Episode I don't remember. About it. I'm just asking everybody. She was We're on to get plate. everybody in. Yeah, she was. I don't on remember the, that. You don't remember having this conversation? With not you? with you. No. She was on the plane. Mm -hmm. We had it with them too. She was on the plane, and he was retrieving her body from Paris. And she had a whole conversation with him. I knew about, about that part where you treat the okay. thing. But wow. Hi from Australia. Okay. What was I saying? See, I you Seth Kitson. Seth, no, I'm prime real estate. Kitson. You're oh, gonna talk man. about a lot of stuff today. Jesus, <laughs> Stephanie. This is not a way to start a live. Come on. <laughs> Hello from Missouri. That's what I'm saying. We gotta ease into it. I know, but you just brought up something that we've discussed already on the show. But everybody was talking about it here. I no, that we were talking about Omid. We're talking about Omid. Well, that's one of Lady C viewers said H and M did get booze at the. Of course, they got booze. I would have loved to hear the that. The last few shows of The Crown were boring and stupid. I would never see. I would never watch The Crown. This is. Uh, <laughs> Karen said Nancy's brain is getting fried. I agree. She gets so manic. I was getting ready for the show, guys, and all of the stuff I had to pull that is in Omid's book, the new stuff, is got me so freaking crazy. It got her rattled. This is what I was saying. I was saying that a lot of people, we get it. You guys, uh, uh, not you guys, not you guys. A lot of people, yeah, they're jumping on this bandwagon of going after Harry and Meghan. It gets a lot of clicks and likes. We, we've established, Stephanie and I, we, we, that, that is not our goal on this channel. We started this chan channel originally because of what they were doing to Lady Susan Hussey. We well, needed yeah. to expose that. And, and animal shelters. Yeah. yeah, no, but and we needed to prove that, you know, what that America. Americans, Americans, young Americans, liberal Americans do not like Meghan Markle. That was a myth. OK, so that is why this is so frustrating. Why don't we all take a breath Yes. before this live? Breathe in, breathe out, <laughs> have a walk, have a uh, what is it called when you go? Suya Wasu moment or something. What is it in yoga? I don't know. But um, Nancy needs to calm down. Let's just say hi to some people before we. Uh, start this my lovely... cat's name is karen i've been with you twins from the start i love the channel we yeah. love you my cat's name is karen thanks ian and honestly thank god oh don't worry nobody's just late. sandering them <laughs> yeah can i start okay. yeah you can if you read them <laughs> instead of just okay 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 karen you karen. said by late no good morning you're not late don't worry nancy's just been having a complete panic well because he just put this out 10 minutes on instagram if you're just joining us see then you have to click it again that's why i keep taking the mouse from you because you don't do it right asking the americans here what is the harkles future other than creeping back into the uk andrea i can tell you right now what their future is 
hundred percent. Her only strip clubs, her only uh, next, uh, what do you call it when you're playing checkers? Cause she plays checkers. Your, your next move is divorce and monetizing the children. Adults only. That fans. That's it. And an OnlyFans. Only I fans. think Stephanie was trying to say OnlyFans. OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. Hi from Vancouver. I'm going to be money. flying into Vancouver soon. Well, I won't be staying there, but I will be flying into Vancouver soon. I always love flying into Vancouver. Um, KK. <laughs> strip club. Yeah, man. She's going to go for the polls. Her next Let's thing. Go for the polls. If you're just joining us, Omid Scoby just put this out on his Instagram stories. He's very proud about this article and especially this really lame I hate pick that, of him I, I hate that he's in la just around our stuff now it's like he's just invading our all our stuff yeah he's at his news mag john but cameo videos yes oh 100 i can't believe she's not doing that already 100 i can't believe she's not doing cameo already if you guys don't know what a cameo video it's like when celebrities um celebrities um hey. you can pay like it depends they all have different rates like a little birdie told me that dave foley's was a hundred dollars i thought it was 150. i don't know i looked but i i've never gotten a cameo from dave foley obviously but um i looked once and um you can pay them to do like a message that you write so like if i our dad got one from eddie wretch who's been a guest on this show before he got one from the um what did he host Hollywood Squares. John Davidson. John Davidson, the host of Hollywood Squares. And he was a music man. It was the most um it was the most off the cuff birthday yeah, greeting. But it was awesome. It, but it was awesome. Mm -hmm. We'll have to play it for you sometime. It's really funny. Um why don't we do our little thing spiel before we do this? Newest okay. from Skatey's book, Princess Anne, kick the dastardly duel out of it. What would you like to say? Like our um thing and then you can like what there. thing? Like and subscribe, and then we'll go right We don't into usually our show. do that on Lays, but if you want to, we don't. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. We're also on Instagram. Oh, we did that on Lives. Nope. And uh, you can also find us on Twitter X. Okay, guys. Well, let's get into it because we have a lot to cover today. A lot happened. Now, we'll start on a really good note. Okay. I will. Eileen, don't worry. Um, I will play that cameo. How about we play it tomorrow? We'll play it tomorrow during our live. It's freaking hilarious. Okay. The <laughs> GOAT. The, gr the greatest of all time. She it knows is what she's doing. Victoria Ward. Now, I'm not a fan of Victoria Ward. She kind of is not a good person, in my opinion. But she said... Princess Royal persuaded King to evict Sussexes from Frogmore Cottage. That would be so awesome if it was true. I don't think Prince, I think King Charles has a mind of his own. And I think he did it himself. And I think it was time to get them out of Frogmore because to be honest with you, if William and Catherine at the time were like, we want to move into Adelaide Cottage mm -hmm. on the grounds of Windsor, there's no way that Megan and Harry could have access to the grounds Kids, anymore. Yeah. There's just no way. That's yeah. that because we all saw what happened at Kensington Palace. Mm -hmm. That the, the Kensington Palace was a nightmare. And they were and they weird had, with the kids. You remember the shh? Yeah. Shh. Remember that at the at the where was that at the trooping of the colors? And they were mm -hmm. like shh to the kids. They're all creepy. It's weird, man. Okay. Um, the Royal, the Princess Royal persuaded the King to evict the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from Frogmore Cottage. This is in Omid's book. Um, I can't believe he's, he's bringing up the Princess Royal. He's got a lot of, well, actually, I don't think he has any chutzpah. chutzpah. Author Omid Scobie claims Princess Anne was the chief architect of the decision to evict Harry and Meghan from their Windsor home. Well, you know what? If she was... Good on you. In the book, Endgame, Inside the Royal Family, the monarchy's fight for survival to be released next week, Princess Anne is described as being at the forefront of the supporters of the firm approach taken with the Sussexes. 
She is said to have persuaded Charles to withdraw the use of Frogmore Cottage. Meanwhile, Prince Edward is described as the only member of the family who felt uneasy about his nephew and was concerned about his mental health. Oh, wow. I like how they're reading. That's not true. That's not even close to being <laughs> that true. That is not even close. The Sussexes, the, lies, I, man. <laughs> the Sussexes team received a letter from Sir Michael John Stevens, the keeper of the privy purse, who stated, who stated that because the Duke and Duchess were no longer working members of the royal family and lived abroad, they should return their keys to Frogmore Cottage. The use. Okay, so Harry is said to have asked his father, you don't want to see your grandchildren anymore? First of all, that's a threat. That's a threat. That's a, that's threat, a threat. Okay, because... Why would you say that just because you're not living on the grounds of Windsor anymore? Why would you say, oh, I guess you're 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 never going to see your grandchildren again because they're threatening people. I mean, and that's they're horrible a, people is is only just an idiot for. But thank you. Karen says Karen, that's blackmail. She, Karen that is says black, blackmail. I, I will go as far as saying it's blackmail. Yeah. Without allegedly behind it. Yeah. It I'm is blackmail. Yeah. I'm taking allegedly completely out of this broadcast. <laughs> Nobody's going to say allegedly. Nothing about allegedly. Princess Anne has inheritance. She does. She she uh, is in charge of she it is in, in charge some of way. Man, this book, I can already tell, is going to throw <laughs> so many people under the bus, but it's going to backfire stupendously. Scobie has vowed to reveal moments which the family should be ashamed. At. Sorry, okay, sorry, sorry. Me. Sorry. I was just trying to get to something that I read. Scobie has vowed to reveal moments which the family should be ashamed and to shine a light on unsolved mysteries. Buckingham Palace has so far declined. We all know that. Harry and Meghan have denied any links to Endgame, rejecting any suggestion that they are affiliated to Scobie, even though... I have that. Okay. Even though they have emails telling their aide to directly talk to SCOBY, mm -hmm. but they're not affiliated with SCOBY. What? He's just butt hurt because- Except you can't say that. What? <laughs> <Okay>. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, you can't say that. On oh. Me. Yeah. He's just bum hurt? Is, can I say no, hurt? no. Oh. So <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but what am I saying? <laughs> He's just upset. That there you go. <laughs> he's just upset that Prince William didn't allow him into all the um, press areas and the press well, briefings we'll get, and we'll all get that, to that. that. We'll get to that. Stephanie's referring to uh, to to this. Um, one of the reasons. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, they were not evicted. You have to be leaving in a place to be evicted. It was time to renew the lease. And they were blah blah. The royal family did not renew it. Exactly. It wasn't like they said, "Here's." Like you're out of here, guys. Yeah, it's, uh, print, or um, King Charles would not do that. You know, he's not. He's the kind king. Okay, he's not the cruel king. Megan's fingerprints are all over that book. Of course, it's all over that book. She ghost written it. She <laughs> gross wrote it. The NDAs are psychopathic. <laughs> yeah. Um, hope people go to Boo Scabies when he does a book tour. I love catching alive with you two. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. We love Saskatchewan. I love saying Saskatchewan. I do too. Saskatchewan. Okay. So this was what Stephanie was referring to. The mood from California was that she felt in... Okay, so this is this is Megan. This is Omid saying this, okay? The mood from California was that she felt increasingly put in an impossible position, that there's a fair sense of relief that the situation is resolved after so much speculation and uncertainty. It is one thing to attend the late queen's funeral out of respect for her majesty, but another thing entirely to attend the start of a new reign. So... Omid slash Megan are now saying that Archie's whatever birthday, fourth, seventh, according six, to him, it's like, we don't know how old he is. Yeah. Um, according to Omid, he's no, seven. He, yeah. <laughs> um, now, the, the reason why Megan um, didn't go to the coronation was because she just didn't want to be part of that drama yep. anymore. She just couldn't be part of the drama. It had nothing to do with her kid's birthday party anymore. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with it. Omid's setting the record straight. Yeah. And of course, Megan had nothing to do with it. 
She is not a source for this book, but that that's why she didn't go to the coronation. Oh, Lord. Now, in the Duke and Duchess unofficial, <laughs> I like how they say unofficial. Why don't we just say official? Unofficial spokesperson Omid's new book, he reveals that Megan didn't attend because she refused to dive back into the soap opera of the That's court. That's what we were talking about yesterday. She started the soap opera. Now, guys, this is what got me stark raving mad this morning. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Could you hear me in the UK and across the pond screaming? I heard you. <laughs> I was screaming when I read this part because they brought the queen into it. Listen to this. Get ready for this. The book Endgame is described, we've read this, a penetrating investigation right. into the current state of British monarchy. The book's description states an unpopular king, a power hungry heir to the throne, a queen willing to go to dangerous lengths to preserve her image, and a prince forced to start a new life after being betrayed by his own family. That is hogwash. That is not true. He is lying. It's not that he's lying. He's just being he's egregious. Just making it that he's, he's just, just being egregious. That is very egregious. I mean, this is, this is bad. This is bad that he's doing this. Obviously, books someone... have been written about this before where, you know, they've said horrible Hi, things Judy. like this, obviously. However, this is coming from Megan. That's why this is so crazy. This yeah. is why it's so crazy. And hasn't it proven out of Spare and Kitson and South Park and just the way nobody likes her? How do they think this is going to go? How would, how do they think this is going to go, guys? How do you repair that? You don't. You know? You don't. Of course. that Tracy, you are 100% right. This has Megan's dirty claws all over it's got it. her grubby little paws all there over we it. go andrea says megan paw print same as spare exactly sussex's cheerleader in chief omid scoby claims william kept him away from the royal <laughs> engagements for Man. months as he believed he was prince harry's emissary after release of bombshell biography finding freedom he didn't believe it he knew it he saw the emails he saw the emails. The guy's not stupid. He's the future king of England. What do you think? He was going to have Omid Scobie around them? Yeah, let's put Omid in a room with with the the uh, future uh, you know king and queen and the heirs. Let's let's do that. Yeah, because you know Meghan and Harry are already carrying mics. So let's, let's have this yeah. dude come in too. Let's put this scrub in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this scrub in the room because this guy looks like he can be trusted. Yeah, he definitely has one of those faces that you can trust. Yeah, I mean, when I think of trusting <laughs> someone, I think, I think of this of guy this right guy. here. <laughs> There's I mean, nothing shady about this guy. Nothing weird. There's nothing um, Machiavelli about his <laughs> yeah. about his eyebrows. You know, he look he doesn't look like the villain. He looks perfectly normal. Yeah, there's nothing to I see. I would let here. him into my birthday party. I mean, I would let I would let him um yeah, I would give him security clearance. <laughs> You're right, Sally. He wouldn't dare go back on a book tour to the UK. He'll do everything via satellite. He'll do everything. Ian says he's got a <laughs> Ian says he's got a face you could slap. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Lisa likes that. Um, okay, so um, more. So, did you guys see that article in the Sun? Because oh, I, Na I uh, Nana Mouse. You know what? He w there's talks allegedly that he was the former boyfriend boy toy yeah. of Marcus Anderson. Now, has it has rekindled? Been, well, it hasn't been confirmed. That it hasn't been confirmed, were. but I'm just saying, has it rekindled? Who knows? Lady C said it said that he was the former. Um, boy toy. Boy toy. Yeah. And she's pretty on the mark. So, you know, she's, I usually believe what Lady C has to I do too. Has to say. Um, Prince William has the power. He's the Prince of Wales, next king of the UK. That is true. He's going to get sued. I mean, you know, it's going to be interesting how he words everything in this. Because in my mind, I'm like, how do you not get sued on this? But I guess it's just going to all be 
speculation. I mean, that's but but if he's saying things that's it, okay. If he's saying like, okay, um, we know who who said uh the Archie skin tone thing, and this is the person that oh, said it. Oh, you're gonna love no, this. no, no. I'm yeah. just saying if the, can can someone sue him for defamation at that point? Or you're just saying it's all speculation. Well, see, because well, I'm not. We're yeah, about listen, to get you, to this. You, you're, you were married to a lawyer. You know more about this than I do. Well, it was <laughs> litigation, and I can. I mean, I can tell you that he. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be it's like the way you word things? That's what I'm saying. So, so he could just come out and go, "Oh yeah, like uh, Shlomo or Jane Doe and John Doe. These are the guys that said it." Yeah, he could say that <laughs> in the book. Bella, I think he'd love to be deported. It would be like, oh, I God, mean, he'd love to stay, love in, to stay LA. in L.A. He doesn't want to go back. He's on a work visa right now. Oh, I don't know what he's on. But he is, because he's, he's doing all those interviews for Good Morning America. Yeah. He's on a work visa. Yeah. Okay, so, guys, this comes out, and we all knew this is where this <gasps> is. <gasps> we all knew this is where this book is heading. And from what I've read is this is really what – they're going to try to drill down everybody's throat. Yep. Even though they have tried to do this for five years, mm -hmm. it just feels like forever. And nobody's taken the bait. America has shown, I, I think I've said this before, but I have a really good um, comedian friend and he, he lives, he lives in Canada, but he luckily in the nineties, he made it in, uh, in uh, worldwide. And he said, he goes, um, if the Americans, they, they go, you you don't make it unless the Americans notice you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying this like Americans better than any other country. I'm just saying that if you if you don't, if you can't make it in America, Megan, and I'm talking to Megan, nobody else is going to really care. Mm -hmm. And that's what she thought she was going to do. She thought she was going to go to L.A. and she was going to like hobnob with the rich and famous and and just be like, look at me. But it it completely backfired. And I love um I, uh I've got all of oh that. you have yeah, yeah. Okay. So Meg accuses mm -hmm. okay. Meg accuses two in Archie race row. So now she is saying there was not one, there were two, two. people that I don't know. This is like becoming um clue this is like you know uh, miss uh, mustard with the with the yeah. candlestick or mrs peacock with the with the yeah okay. telephone cord <laughs> scoby claims he knows the names this is interesting let's let's read this carefully scoby claims he knows the names but laws in the united kingdom prevent me from reporting who they are I need to do a, a big deep dive into this and see what the hell he's talking about. Why can't you name somebody who actually said something? Yeah, if you know someone did something. Exactly. Why are you being such a coward? Why can't you just say tell it. us who did it? Am I wrong here? No. Okay, well then just do it. Coward, coward. And yes, if you're watching, you are a coward. Omid, you're hey, a coward. Glad you caught the live stream. We always like it when Hi. you guys come in. Yeah, we changed it to Saturday because a lot of people are football people and they were like, we can't catch your lives anymore. So I changed it back to Saturday. <laughs> um, I told you last night that Scoby was insinuating the race situation as Will and Catherine, probably because of you. The, <laughs> I think they're going to go. I, bookkeeper Mom Sidley for the Wolfers. Oh, Mom, thank you. I know she's watching. We have she a is... great, great uh, rescue today. Yeah. Thank you so much, Civil Defense UK. Um, ask the Black Belt Barista. <laughs> 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 what about Thomas Sr.? Well, well um, okay, so what were we talking about? The race stuff. What were we talking about? I think that they're yeah. going, I think, I think that they're, if anyone's, they're going to say Camilla did it. I think they're going to throw Anne under the bus. I think they're going to throw okay. Anne under the bus, okay. Camilla. Because they've already said in, in his book, in his crap book, yeah. uh, Spare, he said that William and Catherine were the ones who told them to wear the Nazi costume. Yeah, yeah. They. I mean, I just... There's like, but I out of the blue. Feeling, I feel like Princess Anne is going to get thrown under the bus on this one, and Camilla. I just have a feeling. Well, I don't think anybody is because... He's Let's, not going to say anything. <laughs> laws in the United Kingdom 
prevent me from reporting who they are. Just a coward like she was on Oprah. I am well, so... uh, Oprah's like, so who said it? I think that would I be can't. really damaging. That would be so dam damaging, damaging to the institution now, if I told the truth. So are you telling coward. us? Are you telling us that she lied to Oprah by saying that it was just one person? So she lied to Oprah now? Like, which one is it? Which That's one why I is wanted it? to get to Harry's gray suits. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have that? I don't have that. So oh, we're I gonna, it. We're gonna why couldn't you let that. me? I, well, you know what? I always tell you uh, about no, no, two no, no, hours before. Read it. Okay, but we're going to keep doing no, no, this. No, 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 but that's you why I love down? Harry's. I know, I know. And you can do it afterwards. Let's first do this because we might have that, okay? That's but why we're talking say, about. I know, I know. Okay, why don't you read it, Steph? Okay, Harry's gray suit had this great, um, great tweet last night. And he said, here we go again. This is version number three. Meghan Markle claims two royal racists spoke about Archie's skin. Version number one. Harry said during the Oprah interview, it was the only, it was only one person and Meghan wasn't even there. Version number two. Harry said during the Tom Bradby interview, Meghan never said the royal family was racist. It was the British press. So is Scobie now calling Harry a liar? Do you think that's what's going on now? <laughs> I mean, because I feel like it might be. I mean, am I? I mean, Harry, he nailed it on the head. Scobie's now calling Harry a liar. Doesn't he work with Harry? <laughs> no. Are they all working together? They don't even know who Scobie is. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I agree with Harry's gray suit where he's just, he, I mean, there's three versions to the story and not one of them is the you know what sucks you know what sucks if only if only stephanie we had um harry on film saying that saying that if only we had that let's wonder, see let's see if if there's there's a way for us to 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 tap into that let's see wait that's not it <laughs> wouldn't it be great if i had the video actually ready and it was like okay if only there was a way to prove it interview you accuse members of your family of racism you don't even well of well, oh, the british press said that right i did did megan ever mention that they're, they're racist she said there were troubling comments about yeah, there, there was skin concern color. about his skin color right wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist i wouldn't <laughs> I like the person that did this. Guys, I want you to see Harry's face. I want to pause this one part. In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even, well, well of the British press said that. Oh, I can never get it. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, does that look like somebody who's telling the truth? Does that look like, like someone who is sober? <laughs> exactly. The no. two the two grifters must be so desperate that they keep including Queen Elizabeth's name in their books and privacy to her just to be noticed. They stab the queen in, in the back and keep twisting it. Shame on them. Word. Yes, it is a creepy smile. Duper's delight. Super duper's. I like that. Duper's delight. You're late. Well, you're here. It doesn't matter. You're not late. As long as you're here, you're never late. Princess Anne went on TV and said she was the one who said it. She did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I did it. It was me. <laughs> oh, no. They were saying, yeah, they were saying that she was just taking one for the team. Like, I did it. <laughs> like, oh. it was me. You know, you want to come after me now? Come after me. Well, like, like, like protecting her family. Yeah. Like, if you did something, I would stand in front of you yeah. and go, it was me. I did it. I mean, it. If Stephanie, that, that's what the Stephanie, connotation is. Stephanie doesn't get the meme out there that everybody's been putting where tell, um, tell Megan it was me because she doesn't watch Game of Thrones. But oh. there's, uh, oh, mom, are you getting this? Sidley mom. I love when the curls go <laughs> off. <laughs> Thank you. We go off quite a bit. Nancy's really upset. <laughs> I am upset. There is a show that's one of my favorite shows ever that Stephanie doesn't watch. Um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. And there's a scene where uh, the, this, this one lady goes and as she's like, um, because she killed uh, Cersei's daughter. Oh. Okay. And then, and and she was, she was like, Cer tell Cersei it was me. And it just became like this huge Is meme. Cersei a dragon? No, Cersei is not a dragon. Okay. No. 
No one is safe with Harry and Meghan. I, you know what? They're so unreliable and a joke. I think, I think it's like now. I don't. I think it's safe to be accused of anything by them. Sorry, Bauer wrote about a version of the story Re Revenge, page one forty one. D. Campbell, what are you talking about? <sighs> I'm Spartacus. Yes, Spartacus. Yes, I'm like that is too. That, oh. Yeah, I am. Like if somebody's like, where's Stephanie Sidley? We want Stephanie Sidley. Show, come, move to it the was bus. me. No, no, you walk and you go, I am Stephanie Sidley. And then someone else goes, I am Stephanie Sidley. And the whole time Stephanie Sidley's in the back not getting blamed. So it's from Spartacus. Yeah. Yeah, I remember on A Real Housewives of New Jersey, they had this um, book that yeah. was rotating and all the girls were like, uh, or the woman who was who who was um, in the book and she looked bad as a prostitute in the book. She was like, I want to know who, who showed the book to everybody. And they, the two sisters were um, <laughs> denying it. And then this one sister came up and she goes, I'll tell you who did it. I showed them <laughs> yeah. and this Italian accent. It was crazy. I, I, she didn't do it. Yeah. But she went, I showed it. Yeah. And it's like, like so like Italian, you know, it's like, <laughs> you want to, you want to blame somebody. You blame me. D Campbell. You don't can, blame my sister. D Campbell. Can you refresh my memory on what Tom, Tom Bauer said about the race comment? Because uh, I mean, is if, if, if I remember correctly, he had said, that they were talking about like, oh, um, do you think the kid will have an, an Afro, a red Afro or something? Something that like we discussed on the show before because our dad is blonde hair, blue eyed, and our mom is full on Sicilian, dark hair, brown eyes. And I asked them once, I said, did you guys, before you had us, were there discussions? Like, what, what, what do you think the babies are going to look like? And they go, yeah, everybody does that. So Tom Bauer was kind of saying... Yeah, everybody was just talking like, I wonder what the babies are going to look like. I don't see that that's racist in any way, shape or form. I just feel like everybody has that discussion. The family members like, who do you think it's going to look like? Yeah, you know, and obviously we came out. Dude, like I've mom. had boyfriends where I'm like, oh, my God, what if we have kids? And and, you know, what would our babies look like? And he I think he, a ginger. He, he was Afro, like, per, yeah, he was like Persian. You know what I mean? And I was like, I wonder what our kids would look like, yeah. you know? So it's just like a normal thing you talk about. I don't know. I I mean I I did I don't see how that's racist in any way to wonder. And and Nancy, especially Harry since, doesn't think thinks thinks it's racist either. Harry brought it up on what's that dumb talk show that he went on? Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert. He actually said how the ginger jeans are strong. Yeah. He said the exact same thing that they're complaining about. He said it. Um, okay, so oh, so my my niece is a, in a bi -racial. my niece is in a biracial marriage, and all we talked about was their children would look like. It's normal. Oh, I know. Little... It's like I remember when you were dating Randy. We were wondering. Yeah. We're like we're like that kid is because Randy is Haitian. And we were like, that kid is going to be so Italian Haitian. It's well, remember, be awesome. And Randy also had a, a son, Reese. And how cute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we talked about it all the time. It was adorable. <laughs> Very no normal conversations with family with mixed race. But it wasn't yeah. anything. So you have to understand where the intent, what, what the intent is. You know what I mean? And if it's, it's not <laughs> malicious intent, it's just like, oh, well, you're bringing this into this. You know, you're 43% Nigerian. You're bringing all this into this. <laughs> I'm sure I Megan wonder said what, that. No, yeah, exactly. But I'm saying I'm making a joke right Let's now. Let's see about what Megan. Hi, twins. My friends joke. I'm a professional daughter, even though I work. I love hanging with my parents <laughs> to help the pups. Thank you very much. Thank you. Write it down, mom. We, write it down, mom. We got a good rescue today. Scobie has all the hallmarks of someone who, like Megan, can't live in their own skin. Well, obviously yeah, yeah. <laughs> that i mean narcissists are very insecure people they're constantly trying to change their um char characteristics allegedly Stephanie's not a doctor i'm not a doctor but i did see the talented mr ripley and he was a narcissist and he and a sociopath and a sociopath but he mostly the narcissism was him um trying to be other people constantly because he grew up with such low self-esteem that he didn't want to be himself anymore and that is yeah. what omit is presenting right now 
uh, by the by this LA uh now I'm getting muscles and now I'm getting this tan and yeah, now he's my definitely. eyebrow he's becoming an LA surfer dude the royal family has sorry the royal family could have been talking about a surrogate not legally being entitled to get a title or be in the line of succession make megan also alleged no title this one mm -hmm. never mind just tell me which one it is it worry this one yeah i don't know what that honesty and truth twin talk with the sidley twins the brits have had enough of this pair mm -hmm. <laughs> we know we have to have him back good luck yeah, no we don't want him to stay in la Trust we don't me. want him <laughs> please god take him back okay so here we go here's more of, of what he has to say about the race the the skin tone the allegation that there were two people risk reigniting a bitter race row that led the late queen elizabeth to respond three years ago by saying recollections may vary both names and we also know that that made her life very hard in the end both names are said to appear in letters shared between Megan and Charles in the spring of 2021. Uh, 2021. Megan is saying that she has correspondence yeah. with King Charles. Yep. And the book will say Megan believed unconscious bias and ignorance inside royal family needed to be tackled. In return, Charles wanted his letters to express he felt no ill will or ca casual pre prejudice had been involved. Now get this, guys, and, I, and we're going to talk about this further. In writing back to his daughter-in-law, Charles wanted to clear up something he felt strongly about. The leaked book will claim. It will say there were no hard feelings about the specific incident, but many other concerns remained unresolved. As a result of the letters, the naming of the two people, there was a feeling both had been heard, it will claim. When Megan was interviewed by Oprah March 2021, she alleged comments were made during several conversations. She refused to name names, saying, I think that would be very damaging to them. While promoting his book, Spare, this year, Harry denied the couple had made any accusations of racism. Duh. Instead, the Duke of Sussex said it was unconscious bias, whatever the hell that is. Endgame is Scobie's second royal book. Yeah, we don't care. Despite claims that the Sussexes had played no role in finding freedom, Megan's high court case last year heard the couple had briefed favorable stories to Scobie via aid. And there was proof. And can we please go back to the Samantha Markle discovery case last month? The lawyers of Meghan Markle were apologizing to the judge and saying she misspoke. So we know now that Meghan Markle has been misspeaking for years now, not only with the Omid Scobie stuff, but with the Samantha Markle stuff. So she thing hit that notification bell um but we know now that that megan markle has a history of misspeaking oh, no we've known that forever that's what i'm saying but we know just, that forever we knew that this and, and we're they're having this. to apologize to no, 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 the judges we, we knew that during the engagement video <laughs> we knew that at the engagement video people have asked you and i to react to that i think we are going to react to that okay. because that's i mean it, it, it's just getting crazy but what i wanted to talk about about yeah. those course sorry i just want to say tracy you're right the lawyers were also caught changing megan's statements i mean the this you you okay it's frustrating this is what now. you're gonna see with the, these letters back and forth from king charles to megan okay you're gonna see megan saying outlandish outlandish crazy things that she has copies of now when you write an email to someone or a text to someone crazy people will usually do this they'll write a text and then they'll send it off okay a lot of pe women did this with during the Me Too movement. And then what they do is they bait you in the text or or the email. They bait you to say something. Mm -hmm. Then they erase the previous things they say that show them baiting. And then it looks like all I said was this, said this. and this is this. That's what's gonna happen. Now with this letter, we're gonna see Megan going off about 
unconscious bias and uh, because this was all during the George Floyd thing and she was uh, put herself on a pedestal. She did uh, her graduation commencement speech, yeah. even though they didn't ask her to. It was really like they they even came out and said, we don't know why she did that. Yeah, she is. She she likes she to grab. She likes to grab mics. She she literally made a video and acted like she gave the commencement speech at her old high school. That's how insane that was. It's really bad, too. OK, so what we're going to see is we're going to see letters that make absolutely no sense that probably King Charles returned once. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's probably one letter out there where he's like, I'm really sorry that you yeah. felt this way about someone. I can actually give you guys and it's been enough time that I can talk about this. I can give you guys an example of something that sort of happened to me. OK, I had just started teaching at a school in Southern California. And I don't want to like brag, but when I work, I like, I do a really good job. So I was, I was really good at my job and I would, I would like stay and over time if the, if, if one, okay. If one of my kids, cause I had kindergarten kids, if one of my kids didn't get picked up and, um, and it, what happened is you're supposed to walk the kid to daycare and then the daycare is supposed to do it until if the parents are running late. I didn't like doing that. My kids would not want to go to, they were so little, they wanted to stay with Miss Sidley. So I would just stay. I would have them in my classroom. We'd play a game and we we would just do whatever. And um, the daycare director did not like me. She did not like me. She did not like that I worked harder than her. She did not like that I put more effort in. So you were prettier. I, well, there was a lot. I wore really short skirts. So she was always, always like, complaining about stuff. And I didn't know any of this. I didn't know she was putting in complaints about me. So one day I get called into a meeting with her and the principal and I'm dumbfounded. I'm like King Charles because she's got all these instances. These are the kind of things she would say. She looked at me weird on the playground one day. I had what? no idea what she was talking Looked about. Looked at me weird on the playground. She would say things like that. She would say things like, um, she's undermining me in front of the parents. I never did that. All I did was I'd stay with my kids after school because they asked me, please stay with me. I we don't want to go with we this woman. We can't help that the parents liked us more than her. And then... Okay, so our, our um, school would do an auction every year. And they would put the, the teachers up for auction. And our... And, I would get the most money. And then they asked Stephanie and I to also be put up um, for auction together too. So they would get more money. And we'd always, we, we would go astronomical. And then she got mad because people, parents in her classroom were bidding on us. How is that our How's fault? That our fault? So I'm just saying, I don't know if that's the perfect example, but I, I can just say that that happened to me and you get, I don't blind, even know what that has to do with Cause anything. you can get blindsided because you, you, you go, what you, you, what I'm saying is Megan. What did I do? That's what Megan you're was, what did I do? Megan was creating a story. And she had all these months to create this crazy story and write these letters and her do all this narrative. stuff. Her, her narrative. Her narrative. And King Charles was probably blindsided he was like, by this. What? Like, what like, are you I talking looked about? at you across the playground like yeah, that. Yeah, I understand. You're giving later your, the school your had analogy. To, the, later the school had to um, make her apologize to me and write me a formal apology. But I'm just saying that stuff like that does happen. It's weird. Yeah, they try to build up this this evidence against people there, but, but it's their na narrative, narrative. And which you're is, like, which is not even close to the truth. I remember going to the principal and going, well, is it wrong to stay with your kids after school? No, no, no. we're happy about that. And I was just like, well, why can't you, what's wrong? So just basically Prince Charles got blindsided. I think he's going to get blindsided. Yeah. And I think Megan's got letters probably stacks and stacks of letters that she's written him. And I'm sure there's just one letter from him. I'm sure there's just one. Oh, wait, this is interesting. I think there's a law that prohibits letters from Royal to be made public. Well, there probably is. Yeah, but in that Cut Magazine interview, she was like, I didn't sign anything. I, I know, can say there's anything a law, I but want. But if there's a law. I hope there's a law. If I Charles hope. wrote a letter, would he write the text across pages in case Megan published bits of the letter? Listen, nothing's going to be published. I'm just saying that I think that's what Scobie's referring to. I think you can, pro we'll probably see Megan's letter. Yeah. Like we'll see Megan's letters eventually. We're never going to see 
Prince uh, King Charles's letters. We'll see Megan like you know getting her letters all um like you know how like people have to like <laughs> put letters in in some sort of like uh what is it when you do file work letters like this. Yeah. We'll see her do this. <laughs> Treason. I haven't done that in a while. Off with her head. I agree. I agree. Karen, Karen say? says Megan wasn't around enough to know what was going on within the time Megan was there. She didn't know a great deal. No, she still doesn't. She yeah. still seems a little. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As Mike Tindall commented, uh, Belland, Belland. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's funny, though. Put M, M, and H in the tower. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's not that bad of an idea, allegedly. If her father puts the letter out, maybe he puts a stop to her. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't know. I, I think Megan was crafty when it came to, I think, I think Megan, mean? like, she, like we're, well, we're even writing to her, her own dad. I mean, she's crafty because nobody, Everyone was saying, my dearest daddy, and and you've oh, broken my heart into a million she, billion like She pieces. definitely knew what she was doing. Oh, it's slang for that. That's awesome. Oh, okay. it's, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that <one>. <laughs> have you seen photos of Scoby do before surgery? Yes, we have. I have. have. He looked like a normal human being. Yes. <laughs> and now he looks like Jonathan Chevin. He does look like Jonathan Doesn't he? Chevin. He, he looks, looks like exactly. Jonathan Chevin. Like seriously, he's he's doing something that the uh, Kardashians are doing because he's that's that's, that's Photoshop. Looks like Jonathan Chevin. Hey guys, let's check his, uh, Instagram. See if he's put anything up uh, in a while. Stephanie will do some comments. <sighs> Laura says, Megan also says she has emails that's between the family. <laughs> that only forfeit members of the family were on the email and she has someone who can back her up. I wonder who that would be. They said that her friend, um, Janina Gavankar. I know. Who's that? What's that girl? <laughs> Janina, Janina Ga it's Gavankar. Ben, the Ben Affleck girl? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably her. Yeah. I mean, you guys haven't seen that. I'll put the link in the description. It's really funny. This girl was trying to land Ben Affleck the same way that Megan land um landed uh what's his face harry no that was all he put up all he put up is the times um i would think hmho if parts of the correspondence between um king charles and megan are in the book harry is finished it it really be removal I well, I mean, I think yeah. guys, I think I think their titles need to be. I, they need to and be I don't, removed. I don't think at this point it's being petty. Maybe like yeah, three four years ago we were being a little petty and we were like well, yeah, yeah, yeah we were doing just get rid of get them, get rid of them, and and do that. But I think at this point, I think Megan can turn those titles and make it very dangerous. I think I think she. First of all, I feel awful for the people of Sussex. I, yeah, I feel man. terrible for you guys. You if you're guys watching. are just. I mean, I feel terrible because if I was from Sussex, I would just be like, I, I'd be on a crusade. You know what would be a great Duchess of Sussex? Um, Sophie's daughter, uh, Lady Louise. That would be so great. She'd be if a she great Duchess. Her. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I, I really want her to do it. I believe Archwell is being investigated for sure. And oh, I, IRS is after that. Yeah. I think that. And it will go public, by the way. Oh, yeah. Because it's in America. It's America yeah. Everything's in the public domain here. See, that's what they didn't. Um, oh, Edmonton. Edmonton. Florida. Um, that's what they did not think was going to happen. I don't think, well, especially Harry. I don't think they thought the Americans were going to go after him so hard. Well, I think, I think they thought they were going to be royalty here, dude. <sighs> Man, I think they. I could have told be, them. I think. I think. Oh, I could have told George them. George Clooney and Amal Clooney came to our wedding, so we're going to be protected. And look, Tyler Perry's taking care of us, and Oprah's taking care of us. But but in all the news magazines uh, today and tomorrow are all saying people are dis dis distancing themselves from from Harry and Meghan, especially after the Kitson thing. Yeah. No, I know, Ian. It's got to be Parliament. I don't know why they just don't get rid of them. What's the point of letting them have their titles? Take one for the team, Parliament. Elsie says Come Americans on. have had enough. We are done. Stephanie, we are done. Stephanie is right. 
They wanted yeah. to be American royalty. Yeah. I still think she thinks she is American royalty. Oh, she walks into those red carpets now with her bet. Look, oh, look at me. Yeah, but guys, it's so funny because she honestly did have a chance to, to be. No, no, no. To walk that red carpet. And then the hand. I mean, that just, that's never happened to anybody. I've never seen that before. Invictus is in huge 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 trouble trouble people are quitting left and right people are getting fired left and right i can't wait i mean i feel so bad i feel so you know someone needs to come in like a jeff bezos or a billionaire no like a billionaire to come in take the organization and revamp it and make it all about the the um the athletes Christmas. The wounded yeah. warriors. Well, it should be. Christmas or Obama Sussex. come and do it or something. That's the worst idea ever. We're actually doing an episode on that because right now they're uh, the Guardian, which we all know the Guardian is um, very anti-monarchy and they don't know what they're talking about half the time. But the Guardian came out with this article about like King Charles Guardian. and the Guardians of people that start blocking people. It doesn't matter. I'm still telling so you like that the they idea. abolished the monarchy. Um, so, uh, just cause you liked one article in it. it anyway, good, it was a good article. They, they said something about the King recently. Let me read the headline, um, real fast for you guys. I got it right here. We're going to do a whole episode on it. I was going to bring it up today. And then I'm like, I can do a whole episode on this proving my point. Sleuthing is my game. <laughs> uh, they put out this article revealed King Charles secretly profiting from the assets of dead citizens. Now there's this whole thing about, how he's getting money from uh, land or something like that. I'm not going to get into it here. But everyone's like, that's why we need to abolish the monarchy. And that's why we have to do this. And that's why we have to do that. Listen, guys, the you then then why don't you go after Oprah? Why don't you go after Jeff Bezos? Why don't you go after Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> why don't you go after Bill Gates? Do you know how much land those guys are buying up and kicking people off their property? How come if they're like super left and they give to like Megan and Harry kind of organizations, you're cool with it? Yeah. All of a sudden, it's okay with the Guardian. They're doing good. Look at them. But they're secretly buying up uh, uh, farmland and, and Hawaii. But nobody cares about that. Oprah. Let's not bring her up, but let's go after King Charles. King Charles already, the crown already owns this property. He's not buying up land. Why don't you look to these billionaires and and say, wait, why are you guys buying up land? Do you really need that much land? They're doing that now. You guys are going after King Charles for doing, for something his family already owned like a million years ago. Good Lord, just so we're gonna do a to whole do. Just, episode a bunch of pugilistic people of all these people who are buying up land, and uh, but yet the Guardian doesn't want to go after them. Um, Bunty says, All claim to state when someone dies without a will, return to the crown. Exactly, there's already a stipulation that is that is in the I don't want to say your constitution, but in your declaration. But before that, the government uses research firms to trace benefit. Of course they do. Steven says, how would Megan react if you and all the content providers boycotted her for all of January? No tweets, posts or comments. A month devoid of her dry January uh, dry January because then the Sussex squad's gonna gonna start attacking Kate and, Listen, and William, William this is the thing this is the thing I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna tell you why that's what they want us to do okay at first but it's I a said, good and thank you it's for a the, good suggestion thanks for the five dollars for the um, for our, our rescue our rescue today, today. But, um but it's a it's a very good suggestion and I would love to do that we tried it once but remember? but let me explain this why that's what they want. Megan wants to still be, Megan's not going to give up. She wants to become an influencer. And as long as we're here and and other creators, we're just going to say no. Because what they want you, what Megan and Omid, what they want you to believe is that the people that are against her and all that, they're just these conservative, 
MAGA. No, they're old. They're old. Oh, they're old. Pe- they, yeah. They, yeah, they're just yeah. these old pe- women, and they're just into like you know the monarchy, yeah. and yeah. they just want yeah. they want they're everything to be conservative. conservative. We're so and conservative, like, and, and they use the buds words like I'm friends with like Trump. Who cares? There's people. We're all friends here. If you vote for Trump, Man, good. Hello. I you know Megan's mold, Megan's parody, Megan's towel. We're we're not old uh, chicks, but if you not, were, you know, but if you are, who cares? We want to be friends with everybody. Our mom's our best friend. So it's like, it's like, you're trying to like, I like thought I put was your us, best friend. You know what I mean? But you're trying to put us in a box. You're trying, they're trying to put us in a box and it's not going to work. This is one thing that we can all jump on a bandwagon together and agree on. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And if we give up, if yeah. we stop talking about it, then yeah, they're, they're going to win. But I have thought that's, about that's that. It wants. is a good, it's a good suggestion, but we, and we tried it. Remember? We did try it. Uh, if you guys go back to our New Year's, <laughs> um, last year, our New Year's special, we said we want a Megan and Harry free year. year. That lasted about four seconds. Okay. <laughs> did not thank work. You, Christine. <laughs> did not work. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're going to have a cool charity. Johnny yes. is good looking. Talking about Colonel yeah, he's, Johnny Thompson. He's hot. he's cute. Harriet Scottish is British. Harriet Scottish is British. Okay. Oh yeah, he is British. Give it up for him. He's British. Give it up. He's British. Team royal family all the way. We love the monarchy. It's not going anywhere. No, nope. nowhere. Okay. So before we sign off, wanted to mention a couple of things. We had the state dinner. And I just wanted to talk about the beautiful tiaras that everybody was wearing real fast. You guys have all seen these pictures. Oh, my God. The queen looked fantastic. She had the Burmese tiara on. And look how lovely. She just looks beautiful. She really rocks this tiara. It's a ruby tiara. Make a wish, everyone. There's one, 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 one in the room. I think there's 11, 11. I, I think there might be more than no, I, I can see oh, it in okay. my thing. Yeah, everyone make a wish. Everyone in the chat, so, make a wish. Uh, here is the list of things she was wearing. I thought she looked absolutely stunning, beautiful. The king looked wonderful too. Look how look how well they just they just are just a beautiful couple. Oh my God, Omid Scobie's like he's seventy five. What does that even matter? So when Omid's 75, he's going to, where's, we just have to get, dispose are you saying, of him? Yeah, are you saying that 75 is old? Because what is that's wrong? not old. That's not old, dude. <laughs> like, this isn't 1940, like, s- yeah. It's I don't like, know. When oh my were, God. What was like, that considered old? I don't know. My parents are in our, their 70s and they go, mom no, plays it, pickleball every day. That's not the point. <laughs> it's, just, it's a different Jenner, it's just not the same. So here they are looking fantastic. That is your royalty right there, baby. And I just want to show another picture of the beautiful Queen Elizabeth II wearing that tiara and necklace. One day it will be on the head of Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Now, always got the beautiful Princess Royal, Princess Anne. This is actually she stow it. her tiara. She's um, very... What am I trying to this say? This was a gift. Reserved. Yeah. Yeah. And here she is wearing it um, before. I really like this one. She's just so beautiful. It is. She's uh, stoic. Yeah. Her diamond festoon tiara. So she Which looks. Which was gifted to. Absolutely fantastic. Just beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Um, and of course, we're going to get to the lovely Duchess of Edinburgh, Sophie. Sophie is wearing the aquamarine tiara tiara and then it says ruby tiara are there rubies in there too i don't know i'm just going by what i what i find online but um sophie looks great i mean she's she's just got her own style we've talked about this before where we're just like she's got her own style yeah, and she man, makes it work cool, she's just so cool, cool man. well last but of course not least this was a surprise i think to everybody I mean, I I almost fell down and hit the pavement. I really did. When I saw Princess Catherine's choice. And I absolutely it was the, loved it. She's going to be the queen mother one yeah. day. It, she, she wore the Strathmore Rose tiara. And it was actually last seen by 
uh, the queen mother was wearing it in the 1930s. That's this amazing. The first time it has ever been worn since the 1930s. Isn't that amazing, guys? It's just, that's the, and this is stuff I love to read about. This is the history. This is the traditions. This is the uh, the royal jewels, the crown jewels. This is the stuff I love. This you know? is what's so interesting. Megan gave this up. She gave it all she up. She gave this up. She gave this up. Krista, vid from someone named Feminitia should be mandatory watching for anyone who thinks the Harkles are good people. Okay. okay. We, we shall I'll check that out. And thank you for the um, animal charity today. Um, thank you. I just think, I just think what she's always surprising us. Yeah. And just look, and look at William, how he dotes on her. He dotes on his wife. Listen, she was, uh, really or William was her date that night. That's I all just William I, <laughs> I want her to get pregnant again. She's not going to. So. I hope she does. Um, just gosh, I, I I can't even. She's so. And look at those two. I mean, that's your that's your king and queen. That's your next king and queen. But we're not rushing it. We're she happy. is so regal, so regal, so beautiful. And I again, I I couldn't get over the tiara. I was like, what? Well, it's just classic. Yeah. And here's a nice picture of um, King Charles doing his speech. Just lovely. Now, this is something I learned. Uh, these, this Pink is a Korean um, uh, girl, pop, band? girl band called Blackpink. Blackpink, yes. Now, I've never heard of this group. And BTS. it's called their K-pop. K-pop. It's short for Korean pop. Well, that's nice that they came. And they came, and I guess this was a huge deal. Okay. 70, I, I, I've been told that these girls are bigger than Bon Jovi. Really? Bon Jovi? Well, what's what's big right now? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. They are huge. These girls are huge. They're bigger than Taylor Swift? Yes. I don't think that, that's possible. I'm telling you right now, these girls sell out, or like, they're like just- Like Beyonce? They are huge. Okay. They are always trending on the Twitter. Okay. I'm I, I'm telling, oh, my cat name is Karen says, my girls knew exactly who they were. <laughs> I had to look them up. I had no idea. I'd never heard of them before in my life. Um, they have the highest followers on Instagram in all Korea. We're Beyonce. We're high. We're the now, high girls. Megan is going to plated dinners at the, at the Sheridan. Yeah. And uh, sitting next to nobody's. Mm -hmm. And they and and this is and this is what she's missing. So he gave them a little. What do you call those those little awards? You know, he gives them out. Um, oh, oh yeah, God. what, what do you call called? it, guys? When they, I know you guys have a, a name for it. I apologize for. I really apologize for not having um, uh, the thing that they actually gave uh, the the oh, title. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, I think Lisa. You are great too. You're great. Okay, and so uh, he did that. And here they are holding up their, it's like the order of something, the order of the, I don't know what it's called. Um, gotta get her and uh, Cape, one of the K-pop girls has New England heritage. So her MBE was full. The other three were honorary. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. Okay. Order. Here we go. Order of the British Empire. Now, I heard this was a very big deal. So um, good for Blackpink. Mm -hmm. And what, a, what an awesome thing for them to be a part of. So today's dog rescue or animal rescue. We got to say animal rescue because we don't just feature dog rescue. I know we're always saying dog. I know <laughs> it's called Miss Pitts Rescue. Saving pit bulls through rescue and rehabilitation. It's a foster based program rescue aimed at changing the lives of pit bull type dogs. We campaign for dogs that may be overlooked, unwanted, neglected, abused, or even killed simply for the way they look. So let's stop discriminating against uh, these beautiful, beautiful animals. We have two and they are just the greatest dogs we've, well, no, all our dogs have been all, great, all our dogs but they are, they're pretty funny. They're, they, they gave us a laugh on Thanksgiving. Um, over at mom and dad's yeah. house. And during <laughs> that live when to, yeah, lady, lady tried to, on. Lady thinks she's a lap dog. So she jumped, she's yeah. 70 pounds and jumped up on my mom. So I will put the link in the <laughs> description below and that way you can click on it yourself. And personally- Oh, hi, Megan's Poncho. You can rewatch it. 
Megan's ponchos here, guys. Yeah. And you can um, you can check out Miss Pitt's Rescue uh, yourself. Give to them directly. That would be great. That always um, is the best way. And um, share their information if you can. Adopt a dog. The holiday rescue. season. It's yeah. the season of giving. And um, we had a really good time. Sorry, I was uh, so crazy. No, you weren't. At the beginning, you were. I was. So <laughs> but um, we will see you very, very soon. Uh, what's this? Um, not for their music, but the environmental awareness. Oh, do they do all stuff? See, I got to look into this black pink. I'm just not. I'm just not cool. I'm not. I'm not as cool as. I, I think I like I Taylor am. Swift. Yeah, Stephanie likes Taylor Swift. No, I get a good song to go out <laughs> and we can sing. What? In honor of Ovid Scobie's uh, article he just put out. Okay. Hail to the no, to the no, no, no. Hail to the no, hail to the no. Do you not know this song? Yeah, I do know it. Then why don't you sing it with me? Hail, hail to, to the, the no, no, to the no, no, no. Hail to the no. To the no, no, no. no.